Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade seven, unit four, lesson 14 practice problems review it is on measurement error. I mean, the student percent. estimated that it would take three hours to write a book report, but it actually took her five hours. What is the percent error for her estimate? Well, we need to find the amount of error. and divide by the actual amount. And so the amount of error here, let's see, it actually took five hours, she estimated three hours, and five minus three is two. So the amount of error was two hours. It actually took her five hours, and when I divide this, I get 0 0.4 or 4 tenths, which is the same thing as for the hundredths, which is the same thing as 40% error. A radar gun measured the speed of a baseball at 103 miles per hour. If the baseball was actually going 102 and 8 tenths miles per hour, what was the percent error in this measurement? Well, if we look for the difference here, 103 minus 102 and 8 tenths is going to get us a difference here of 2 tenths. The amount of error was 2 tenths divided by the actual amount, 102 and eight tenths. And my guess is this is going to be a pretty funky decimal. And it is 0 0.0019455. And if I look to get this into a percent form now, this is going to end up being 0 0.19%. Let's continue on. Question three. It took 48 minutes to drive downtown. An app estimated it would be less than that. If the air was 20%, what was the app's estimate? What do we know? We know it actually took 48 minutes. We know the percent air was 20%. And so if it actually took 48, we could subtract away whatever this error was, and we're going to get the estimate. So this is going to be the amount of error and this would end up being the estimate. Well, this amount of error is 20% of 48. And so 48 minus 20% of 48 is 9 and 6 tenths. And that's going to equal the estimate of 38 and 4 tenths minute. And we're subtracting because it said it was going to be less than the um, what it act, the estimate, I'm sorry, was going to be less than it actually took. Question four, a farmer estimated that there were 25 gallons left in the tank. If this was an S underestimate by 16%, how much water was actually in the tank? Well, if it was an underestimate by 16%, if we take that 100% and subtract 16%, we're going to end up with 84%. If I take 25 gallons and divide it by that 84%, I'm going to get around 29 and 8 tenths gallons that were actually in the tank. For each story, Write an equation that describes the relationship between the two quantities. Diego collected X kilograms of recycling. Lynn collected two fifths more than that. Well, we could say Y is going to equal Diego's X plus two fifths more would be two fifths X. And to simplify that, we could say Y equals one and two fifths X. Lynn biked X kilometers. Diego biked three tenths less than that. Well, we can start off by saying y equals 
x minus 3 tenths of x. Simplify that, y equals 7 tenths x. Diego read for x minutes. Lynn read three, 4 sevenths of that, so just 4 sevenths of x. For each diagram, decide if y is an increase or a decrease of x, then determine the percentage. Well, x is sitting here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and y is just 4 of those 5. So first off, in A, it's going to be a decrease. And it's a 1 fifth decrease because it goes from 5 to 4. So it's 1 out of the 5 is getting decreased, which is equal to 20%. In the case of B, we're still sitting at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but this time we're 1, 2, 3 bigger, so we're 3 fifths bigger. We have an increase of 60% as 3 fifths is equivalent to 60%. Lynn is making a window covering for a window that has the shape of a half circle on top of a square of side length, three feet. How much fabric does she need? Let's draw a picture. I have a square. That's three by three. And I'm going to try to do my best to draw a half circle here. Those who know me know I'm not the best artist, but I try. Now this is still three, but our radius then is going to be one and a half. And so if we find the area of the square first, that's simply going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. For the circle, or the half circle, with a radius of 1 and a half, the area of a full circle is equivalent to pi times radius squared. So we're looking at 3 and 14 hundredths about times 1 and 5 tenths squared. 1 and 5 tenths squared is equal to... 2 and 25 hundredths. Multiply that by the 3 and 14 hundredths, and you get about 7 and 65 thousandths. But that's the full circle. So if I divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half, we're going to end up with 3 and 5,325 thousandths or so for that half circle. Add those two numbers together. 9 plus the 3 and 5,325 uh, 10 thousandths, you get 12. And 5,325 10 thousandths square feet or so. And that is it for this lesson. Good luck.